Hey everybody, Tim here with today's episode of Star Trek The Next Generation, Season 2, Episode 14, The Icarus Factor. Um, so this is an interesting episode. This episode kind of has to deal with family and family values in general, and kind of a, a sense of camaraderie. Um, so the main subject is Riker. And he is offered uh, the the command to be the captain of his own ship, the Ares, which is not the first time. He has offered command of a different ship. I forgot the name of it already. Um, but he turned it down to be the commander of the Enterprise because the Enterprise is such a prestige ship. Um, so now he is offered the command of a second ship. And now he's weighing the decision. If he And Picard says, like, you could be the owner of your own ship. But it's not going to be an important ship, and it's going to be out in the middle of nowhere, and nobody's going to care. Or you could be the commander of the most famous ship ever. And so Riker's kind of balancing that. And on top of that, his father, Kyle, is um, kind of the, the person who's bringing him the news of the ship. Um, and that's, that's where the title comes from. I love this title, The Icarus Factor. Because um, it's all about Icarus and his father Daedalus, and like the two that flew to the sun, and Icarus got too close after Daedalus said not to. Um, so it's kind of an interesting dynamic right there. Um, and then we slowly start to learn more about the relationship. Um, like Polanski for uh, Doctor Polanski mentions that Kyle Riker was taken hostage 12 years ago um, during the Tholian conflict. Which I actually had to like rewind it and play it again uh, when she said that. Because I was like, did she just say the Tholians um, from the original series, the Tholian Web? Um, so that was kind of interesting because I don't remember ever hearing them mentioned before. Um, but now we know that they were. Um, so that's kind of the main plot of the story. And it's an interesting plot. Um, and to take it one step further, Polanski mentions that she's been married like three times and she's not opposed to a four. So like I said, it's all kind of about relationships. And so below that, we have the subplot where Worf is just kind of unusually angry for a Klingon. And it turn Wesley realizes that it's the 10th anniversary of his Ascension Day. Um, so now he is trying to basically bring the crew together to help support Worf in, in this anniversary. Because he, he kind of feels like some cultural boundaries because he's the only Klingon. And so he wants the others to kind of be involved. And so they it's it's a really great scene in the episode because they get them all together in the holodeck. And they it's, again, like I've said it a few times now, we're in the next generation, we start seeing more and more of that Klingon culture. Um, and so you basically, I think it's eight Klingons, four on each side, and Worf has to walk between them and just get poked with pain sticks. And everybody's like, this, is, this isn't a celebration. This is fucked up. That's what this is. Um, but it's it's a good episode. It's interesting. And this is the first time we see pain sticks. Um, and it, they, they're kind of reoccurring from here on out. Um, but it's it's a good episode in general of just kind of all of the family and bringing, bringing togetherness. Um, it's also more of the Klingon culture and we, we dig into Riker, which I, I find Riker really interesting, especially his goodbye scene with Troy, because... Like, throughout the whole series, there's always that, like, are they together, are they not, the Amzadi thing. Um, but yeah, I, I really enjoy this episode. Um, for those who have seen this episode, um, how do you guys feel about these more family-oriented episodes, where it doesn't really have to do with sci-fi, there's no explosions, there's no alien attacks, it's just the, the togetherness, it's the family dynamic. Uh, go ahead, let me know in the comments below. Uh, thank you guys for all the YouTube subscriptions. Thank you guys for the comments, the likes. Thank you guys for everything. And I will see you guys next time for Pin Pals.